Well, it happens in some countries, but usually not over here. <laughs> so, you're from Italy? Yes, I am. And you're traveling to Tokyo? Yes. Well, welcome to Top Notch Travel Agency. Let me introduce you to my staff, then we'll talk about Tokyo. Marie, I'd like you to meet... George Young Moretti. Oh, you know him. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, my name? Um, uh, uh. Marie. Marie, yes. I'm Marie Lepage. Very nice to meet you, Marie. Marie is our receptionist. She's from Paris. Uh, Mr. Moretti is a new client. He's from Italy. Ah! Giorgio Moretti? Giorgio Moretti? That's Giorgio Moretti! <gasps> yes, I know. He's a new client. He's from Italy. Introduce me. Introduce me. Oh, uh, yes. This is... Cheryl. Cheryl. Yes, this is Cheryl. She's our... Office manager. Hello, Mr. Giorgio. I mean, Mr. Moretti. Please, call me Giorgio. Call him Giorgio. It's so neat tonight. I mean, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Bob! Bob! Come meet Giorgio Moretti. Hey, Giorgio Moretti. Hey, man, how are you? I'm Bob, but everyone calls me Roberto. Bob is a travel agent. Who calls you Roberto? Giorgio Moretti! <laughs> Paul is a tour guide. <laughs> Goodbye, so long. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, but I must be gone. Goodbye, so long. <laughs> it's nice to know you, but I'm traveling now. <laughs> so, Mr. Moretti, what is your occupation? He's a singer. <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> Mr. Moretti, Marie has some questions for you. Then let's talk about Tokyo. Okay, let's see. Name, Giorgio Moretti. Occupation, singer. Famous singer. Great and famous singer. <laughs> Nationality, Italian. Age, 32. <laughs> Married? No. Single. Phone number? <laughs> this is my information. Everything okay? Come with me, Mr. Moretti. Thank you, Mary. I have Giorgio Moretti's phone number. <laughs> Do you guys want to go out this weekend? There's a great movie playing at the Glenwood. A rock concert sounds better to me. I'd love to see a play. How about an opera? <laughs> okay. There's a rock concert Saturday night at 8 p.m. Blue City is playing. Blue City. I love them. Sounds good. Not my style. I don't like rock. Okay. 
There's a play tonight at midnight at the Second Avenue Theater. It's called Conversations with Food. <laughs> Sounds great. At midnight? That's way past my bedtime. No thanks. Okay. Carmen is playing at the City Opera, 8 p.m. Great. How much are the tickets? You're kidding! Whoa. Oh, no way. Great! It's a movie then! <laughs> a Time to Run is playing at the Glenwood at 7 p.m. A Time to Run? Oh, don't go to that. It's just awful. <laughs> okay. How about You Only Live Once? It's playing at the Kendall, also at 7 p.m. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> An actor's life? Please. Anna goes home? No. The left side of the street? I think there are no more tickets. So what's a good movie to see? There's a French film playing at the Bijou at 8 p.m. I'm not a French film fan. It's a film about an opera singer. Perfect. And a rock star. Great. Who meet at a play. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. You're very welcome. <laughs> It'll be fun, Bob. But I'm not a French film fan. Excuse me, I'm looking for the Rose Cinema. The Rose Cinema. Let's see. Uh, that's on the corner of Market Street and Park Street. Or is it 3rd and Grand? No, I think it's on Market between 1st and 2nd Avenue. Okay, uh, so, go around the corner, walk three blocks, uh, no, uh, five blocks to Harper Street. Turn left. Sorry, right. <laughs> Go another two blocks? No, yes, two blocks. To Fourth Avenue, take a right, yes. Walk about five blocks to Market Street. Go right again, go straight two more blocks. The cinema is on your right. Uh, no, <laughs> sorry, you're left. Paul. What? You're looking for the Rose Cinema? Yes. Go across the street. And? It's across the street. <laughs> Thank you. And you're a tour guide? That's your cousin Teddy. He's a waiter. He's single. And he likes rock music. It's my brother, Eddie. He's a doctor. He's got a wife and two kids, and he likes classical music. How about this one? I don't know. A cousin? No. Your brother? No! An uncle? It's my Aunt Judy! <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Morris. She looks like your uncle. Tell me something about her. She's an architect. Artist. Married. Divorced. Two kids. Three kids. Four ki Five kids? No kids! <laughs> Only eight more. Here's an easy one. I don't know. It's my father! I know who your father is. Why are you showing me photos of your father? My family is coming in one hour. Now pay attention. Why do you have such a large family? It's not that large. Not that large! You have six brothers and sisters, 14 aunts and uncles. Who knows how many cousins, nieces, and nephews? I'd say that's a large family. They're not all coming over. No, just 18 of them. 
I'm sorry, honey. I just want them to like you. Calm down. It's okay. You're doing fine. Okay. I'm okay. Your cousin John? Oh! <laughs> That's your sister's husband, Ernie. They live on Park Street. Two kids! Elizabeth is 12 years old, and Katie is eight. <laughs> Ernie's an architect. He likes baseball, basketball, and the movies. Wow. One more. <laughs> your nephew, David. His nickname is Dave. <laughs> he lives on King Street. He's single and he's a student. He loves to travel. He likes jazz and he doesn't like fish. You're amazing. Very nice. Oh, it's almost six. Bob, would you wipe off the counter? I'll be in the bathroom for a while. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Come on in. Where are the tickets? They're printing, okay? Mr. Evans needs them right now. The client is coming in five minutes. This printer is driving me crazy. It's so slow. Try blowing on it. What? Really? Try it. Now tap the sides. Just try it. Now rub this side gently. Does this really work? Where are the tickets? They're printing, okay? Mr. Evans needs them, now. The client is coming in four minutes. Easy there, Jackie Chan. <laughs> we need a new printer. Aren't we getting a new printer? You're buying the new printer, aren't you? This is the new printer. This piece of junk is new? Well, it's new to us. <laughs> This is an old printer? Just a little old. What kind is it? Is it a Comprite? Mr. Evans says always buy a Comprite. It's a print okay. A print okay? <laughs> What's a print okay? Do you know that brand? It's a good brand and very inexpensive. We need the tickets now. Do something! Oh. Where are the tickets? They're printing, okay? The client's coming up in one minute. The printer's a little slow today. Okay, then I... Stop! What? Don't come near this printer. What's the problem? You know machines don't work when you're around. That's not true. Is your laptop working? No, it won't turn on. Is your cell phone working? No, it's 11. Is your PDA working? No, but... I... Stay away! Come on! Paul, oh, we need these tickets right away. We're printing the last ticket. Please, do not come near this printer. The printer won't stop working just because... <laughs> oh, God. The client is here. Oh. Where are the tickets? Right here, sir. Thank you. There are only nine. Where's the last one? Uh, right here, sir. Thank you. What? The printer isn't working. 
What? Go across the hall to Mr. Lee's office. Has to print one ticket on his printer. Not you. You're sitting here until all the tickets are printed. Are you ready to order? We are. Excuse me. I have a question. Yes. I'm in the mood for lamb, but the sauce looks too fatty. Could I order the lamb without the sauce? Sure. What does it come with? French fries. I don't like fried food. Could I have a grilled vegetable instead? I think we have grilled peppers. Perfect. Would you like to start with an appetizer? Is there oil on the tomato salad? There's a lot of olive oil, yes. Could I get it without the oil? Mm-hmm. But it won't taste very good. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll just have a mixed green salad. And you? I'm sorry. I have another question. Is there salt on the lamb? It's cooked with salt and pepper, yes. I don't want a lot of salt. I think I'll have the fish instead. What's in the sauce? Lemon, butter, milk. Oh, that's too much dairy. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a large salad for my entree, a no appetizer. What's in the salad? Lettuce, carrots, peppers, onions, egg. Oh, no egg, please. Salad, no egg. Anything to drink? Mm, just water, please. And for you? I'll have the special. The special. The special. Wait, could I ask you another question? No. no. This is delicious. Amazing! Cheryl, don't you want to try it? No, thanks. Too many calories. And we need to go. I'll ask for the check. <laughs> I love dessert. Do you know how many calories are in that cake? No. And don't tell me. <laughs> or how much fat was in your steak and your fried shrimp? Or how much salt was on your french fries? Do you want us to just eat raw vegetables? Vegetables are good. Or how about smaller portions and no dessert? No dessert? You need to take care of your body. <laughs> eat healthy food. Have vegetables for snacks instead of potato chips and cookies. You're right. Tomorrow I'm eating lots of vegetables. Really? For snacks. And I'm having potato chips, cookies, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> You're terrible. What are you doing? I'm trying to get the check. Finally. <laughs> Do you want that? What are you doing? I'm exercising. Don't you have some work to do? I am working. I'm working and exercising. What work are you doing? I'm thinking. About what? About ideas for Mrs. Beatty's vacation. And what are you thinking? Beach vacation! <laughs> I have to finish this. Can you go exercise somewhere else? No problem. <laughs> doing? I'm getting in shape. Why are you doing that here? Why don't you go to a gym? Or the park? Or outside? Or home? I don't have time to go to the gym.
can't work when you do that. Can you go over there? No problem. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm working. Then why are you running? To get in shape. Running burns a lot of calories. Exercise later. Work now, please. Yes, sir. I'm meeting a client at the cafe for lunch, Marie. Okay. So, what do you do to stay in shape? I generally go running in the morning. I do aerobics two nights a week. I always play tennis or golf on the weekends. And I usually go bike riding every Sunday if the weather is good. You don't lift weights? No. Oh, you have to lift weights to really stay in shape. I don't like to go to a gym. You don't have to go to a gym to lift weights. You can lift weights anywhere, like this. Or this. Or even this. Ah. Maybe not that. Thanks for the suggestions. Hey, why don't we go running together sometime? Okay, where do you run? To the park. And back. Oh. Where do you run? To the park. And then to the market. Then to Symphony Hall. Then to Harper Street. <laughs> then to the library. Then to the theater. And then back. Oh. So, do you want to go running after work today? Gotta meet a friend for dinner. Some other time then. Yeah, sure. Hey. Can you answer the phones for a while? I have to go to the post office, and you're the only one here. No problem. That is so cute. Thank you. I love that color. Bob, what do you think of our new clothes for the party tomorrow? There's a party tomorrow? It's Mr. Evans' birthday, remember? All right. Am I going? <laughs> yes, you are. OK. So tell us what you think of our new clothes. All those clothes are for one party? No. We have to decide what to wear. What do you think of these blouses? They're very flattering. Which one do you like more? What do you mean? Which one do you prefer? I like them both the same. No, you don't. You're just saying that. You need to have an opinion. You have to choose. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. Bob, please help us decide what to wear. Okay. Which skirt do you like? The red one. Great. That's not so hard, is it? Which shoes look better? Those. <laughs> Which sweater do you prefer? I like the purple one. Bob, you like Marie's clothes more than mine. No, I don't. That's not true. <laughs> then which dress do you prefer? That one. This is Marie's dress, too. What's wrong with my clothes? Nothing. Nothing. I, I like your clothes. 
I like Marie's clothes. I like everything. I like all dresses and all sweaters and all skirts and all shoes. Ugh. Who asked you anyway? You did. So, what are you going to wear to the party tomorrow night? A uh, t-shirt and jeans. <laughs> A t-shirt and jeans? No way. You have to wear something nicer. I don't have anything nicer. You do now. All that's for me. What do you think of these? Do you have anything looser? Yep. Too wild for me. Anything else? Here you go. I don't know. Those look pretty warm. Something cooler would be good. Why don't we look at shirts? <laughs> Not bad. But it's pretty conservative, isn't it? I love this one. That doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> Try this. That looks a little cheap. Do you have anything more expensive? It. I'm taking it all back to the store. But what am I wearing tomorrow? Just wear a t-shirt and jeans. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Rashid. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. How was your vacation? It was wonderful. I'm so happy to hear that. Was your flight okay? No, pretty bad, actually. It was so bumpy. It was very scary. Well, that's too bad. Did you have nice weather after you arrived? No. The weather was terrible, very rainy. I actually never saw the sun. That's awful. So what did you do? I stayed inside the hotel. Was the hotel room nice? The room was fine, but it was right next to the cafe, and the music was very loud. I didn't sleep much. I'll bet the food was great. No, it was too salty for me, and the waiters were very unfriendly. Did you go shopping at all? A little bit, until someone stole my wallet. <laughs> After that, I stayed in the hotel and read a book. Was the flight home okay? Actually, they canceled my flight. I had to stay for two more days. That's terrible. But, Mr. Rashid... You said that your vacation was wonderful. Ah, uh, yes, I did. And it was wonderful. I met a very nice person. A woman, actually. Her name is Basmar. She's from Lebanon, just like me. But she lives here. I'm seeing her tonight. So, yes, it was a wonderful vacation. That's great, Mr. Rashid. <laughs> yes. Mr. Rashid, welcome back. Come tell me about your vacation. What a terrible vacation Mr. Rashid had. Oh. You know, on my vacation last year, someone stole my car. That was a horrible vacation. I went on a cruise, and there was an outbreak of illness. I was in my room for a week. That was a really bad vacation. I went to Disney World, and someone stole my map. That's your worst vacation? It took ten minutes to get another map. All right. What was your favorite vacation? I spent two weeks in the Caribbean last year, diving, snorkeling, and swimming with dolphins. It was amazing. I went to China a few years ago. It was incredible. The people there were so friendly, and everyone wanted to practice their English with me. I went to the beach and ate shrimp. <laughs> That's your best vacation? I really like shrimp. 
Uh, you need to go on more exciting vacations. I don't like exciting vacations. In fact, I don't like to travel very much. Then why do you work in a travel agency? It's across the street from my apartment. So I don't have to travel far to go to work. <laughs> so, Mrs. Beatty, we should talk about your safari trip to Botswana. I'm so excited. My first time in Africa. You're going to be flying in to Johannesburg, South Africa. Would you like a window or an aisle? Oh, a window. I want to see everything. In Johannesburg, you should take a taxi or a limo to your hotel. The next day, you could fly or you could take a train to Francistown in Botswana. Is it an express train? Yes. I'll take the train. I'd like to see the country. Great. Then after you see Francistown, you can take a small plane or a bus to the Okavanga Delta. How small is the airplane? It's pretty small. I'll take the bus. Is it an express bus? I think so. When you get to Gumare, you're going to be taking a boat to your hotel. A boat? The hotel is on an island. When you get to the island, a man with a donkey can take your luggage to the hotel. A donkey? There are no cars on the island. Is it an express donkey? I think it's probably a local donkey. Of course, if you don't want the donkey, you could take a small plane. It goes straight to the hotel. I think I should take the donkey. Donkeys never have mechanical problems, right? Right. South Africa. Hello, Mrs. Beatty. Why, hello, Paul. <laughs> Where are you traveling to now? Mrs. Beatty is going on a safari in the Okavanga Delta in Botswana. Nice. Are you flying in or are you taking the train, bus, boat, donkey route? <laughs> I'm going to be taking the donkey. I did that once myself. You did? Was it very exciting? Oh, it was. On the way there, the plane had mechanical problems. That sounds scary. We got in late. And I missed the train to Francistown, so I decided to take a bus. But I got on the local bus by mistake. I don't like local buses. Then the bus had an accident. So I rented a car, but it broke down. Oh, dear. I got to Gamari two days late. Then I got seasick on the boat to the island. Oh, my. Did you have any problems with the donkey? I got bumped from the donkey. You mean they overbooked the donkey? No, I mean the donkey bumped me off the road to the hotel. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Ah! <laughs> but it was a very exciting trip. You'll love Africa. So, any questions, Mrs. Beatty? Just one. How much is a ticket to Paris? Here comes Bob. Yeah, he wants to sell me his digital camera. Hi. How was dinner? Great. What do you have there? The best digital camera money can buy. Paul, that's the same camera you look... Why are you selling it? I have two. Cheryl gave me another one for my birthday. It's not bad. How much do you want? $250. Wow, that's a great... That's more than I want to pay. But that's less than... I can give you 200 for it. No, I need at least 245 Sorry, all I have is 210 There's an ATM, right? I could go as low as 230 but that's it. Sorry. Thanks anyway. All right. I'll sell it to somebody else. What are you doing? You almost bought that camera yesterday for $300. You don't know how to bargain, do you? 
Bargain? Of course I know how to bargain. You don't know how to bargain. You could buy that camera for $230, but now it's gone. <laughs> All right. You can have it for $225. $220. $224. $221. $223. $224. $223. $224. $223. $224. $222, not a dollar more. I'm not selling this for less than $223. Here. Here's one dollar. <laughs> now you both get what you want. It's a deal. I'll get some money from the ATM. Great! <laughs> you said I don't know how to bargain. Thanks. Thanks for dinner. My pleasure. I saved a lot of money on the camera. Should I leave the tip? No. I'll put it on the credit card. Five dollars? That's not enough. Sure it is. The bill was fifty dollars. That's only 10%. So? Didn't you like the food? It was good. Was there a problem with the service? No. Then you need to leave at least 15%. No, I don't. Paul, we come here all the time. The waitress gives us great service because we usually tip well. I always leave 10%. Have a nice evening. We're not quite ready. No problem. Look, I'm paying tonight, so I get to decide how much to tip. Oh, all right. Hey, isn't that Mr. Evans over there? Where? <laughs> Never mind. It's someone else. Mm. Shall we go? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>